Hi, Mark from Sharkbait here. Now, the purpose of this video is to show off the new Metaloid series of reels from Okuma. These are a real important piece. Um, you might say they kind of set the industry on its ear a little bit. Um, several years ago, we mentioned that Okuma was a sleeping giant you know, and to expect to see good things. You know, the McIver reels we were probably the first to introduce you know, to anglers worldwide. You know, exceptional pieces. They proved their point. Initially, you know, they were a little less expensive than they are today. You know, Kuma kind of bought a little bit of, uh, oh, I guess, consumer interest by having a low initial price point, as well as a longer warranty than anybody else. You know, and once they proved their point, the price escalated somewhat. Still represents a great value on the Makairas. The Metalloids, I think, will probably end up seeing a similar uh, history unfold where the initial price points are ridiculously low for what's offered. So, uh, I'm going to put this little video up. Uh, there may come a point here shortly where it comes back down because pricing will change, no doubt. And I really would rather do a full video of the Akuma line. Uh, the Metalloids are the first of the iCast introductions for 2014. Uh, the first of those introductions. Um, oh, we'll see a few other pieces to go along with that. Um, you know, we've already received the new 130 Makairas. Uh, we'll have new Andros reels coming over the next couple of months. Should be here, uh, I would think, by November uh, or within November of 2014. But the Metalloids came first, at least four out of uh, the, the six models that will be in that line. So okay. let's go. To there are four different models of Metalloid reels, as you can tell. We have a five and a five narrow series. The reels are offered in single speed as well as two speed products. Um, single speed we see here, no shift control. Two speed behind, there's our shift control. And again, like Akuma does on their other pieces, the shift button it has a shroud behind it. You know, that, that I think is a wonderful idea you know, compared to some of the reels that have just a little button that pops out that would be fairly easy to shear off. These are protected on the two speed mechanism. You know, unusual reels. Yeah, in some respects, certainly in terms of their pricing. Uh, the little five narrows are the same as the Andros piece. That's an Andros single speed. You know, this will not change for 2015. However, the two speed reels in the Andros lineup will change. In the case of the Metalloids, the reels are all you know, featuring um, four bearings. You know, so the free spool performance is quite good, and I'll show you a little demonstration of that in a moment. It's a rigid one-piece side plate and uh, left side plate and spool or frame construction rather. You know, the spool, of course, is also all metal. You know, it's T60, you know, 61, you know, T6 machined aluminum frame and side plates. You know, the bearings are corrosion resistant, good bearings. They spin well. You know, Two-speed and single speed, as mentioned. You can tell it's got a very nice handle, you know, comfortable. It's a it's a rubber type handle, you know, soft grip. The um, gears are worth mentioning. The gears are helical cut. What that means is increased smoothness. You know, they engage more easily you know, when you're trying to uh, upshift or downshift. It has a silent retrieve system on the anti reverse. Uh, carbonite drag, so you've got carbon you know, fiber drag material as well. They make use of Cal's drag grease. Um, let's see here. Well, of course, all models do have a clicker. And most interestingly, the industry standard is one year in terms of parts and labor. Uh, in the case of the Metalloids, they're offering three years parts and labor. Again, that's the best in the business for this um, type of reel. Um, Alcuma also has on the Makairas the five-year parts and labor. Typical warranty, regardless of the manufacturer in this industry, is one year's parts and labor. Uh, the manufacturer obviously has confidence uh, in the long-term use of this product. Three-year warranty is wonderful to have. All right. I mentioned that the reels have wonderful free spool performance. Now, this is a two-speed piece, obviously lever drag. Lever drag works the same on this reel as any other. There is a stopper uh, at your strike position. Push this, depress this button here, and the slider will allow you to go all the way up to full. And we'll come back to the drag performance here in just a moment. So I'll put her in free spool. I just want to show you know, what the free spool performance looks like off this piece. Your basic spin. Now while that's working, 
that we can go over the specs a little bit. Uh, the drag capability of these reels uh, for the 5 and the 5 narrow are both the same. They offer up to 24 pounds of drag. The drag uh, at the strike position with full free spool performance is 15 pounds and buttoning down at 24 at full. Okay. Now one sign of a good bearing is how she slows down. And watch that. Just that little bit of paper or the sticker is enough to make her roll back. Now that's pretty doggone good free spool performance out of a reel. You know, in fact, I'd say it's downright yeah, exceptional. Let's do this one more time. Okay, sticker's back on. Let's give her a fling. Of course, if I tilt her over on one side, we'll probably have a bearing that will actually help out the spinning. You know, but this is wonderful for your spool performance. You can compare that to anybody out there. You know, you know, that's, that's very, very good, whether it be a star drag or a level drag, lever drag. Excellent reels. Now, they all, of course, do have a clamp assembly that comes with them. I'll go ahead and stop her now. You know, easy to work with that way. You know, of course, you know, this piece versus, let's say, an Andros. The Andros will offer a couple more bearings. Andros probably will have better bearings. Drag performance, we'll see how the Andros shakes out. You know, typically, you know, their drags have been exceptional as well. You know, I don't, you know, how much more drag do we need on a reel this size? Probably not a heck of a lot, but fully capable of fishing, oh, in that, you know, probably up to 50 pound range. You know, that's what I would put on here is 50 pound braid and then top off with anything from, you know, 20 to 40 pounds. And I think they'd be just fine at that and have adequate line capacity. Certainly the narrow version, you know, probably will sneak in here and be a better, you know, 30 pounder you know, or 20 pounder. Yeah, but I'd still be inclined to run 40 pound braid on this little narrow piece and I'd probably bump up to 50 pound here unless you need the extra line capacity at which point you know you, know, you may want to you know go to 40 you know you could go to 30 uh, on the little guy and have a ton of capacity probably 500 yards of 30 is going to fit on here real easily in terms of the braid you know 500 of you know, 40 uh, probably no issue here as well typical spooling would be probably 300 yards of 50 you know, on the five and the five narrow I think 300 to 50 is going to pretty much fill that spool. Not a whole lot of wasted space on the arbor on that spool. Wonderful pieces, all, you know, metal. You know, nice finish to them, you know, type 2 anodizing. Again, you know, we've mentioned before some of the things that Okuma tends to do right. And you can see here as far as the drainage, you know, we've got two ports here, you know, to offer good drainage. There's another port back here, you know, so if the reel is, you know, sitting, you know, flat, you know, she's going to drain and flush out the water. If it's on a uh, rod rack, you know, on the, on the rod, you know, you're going to have drainage coming through the back ports you know, on the back side. Again, most manufacturers will stick in one port, you know, to help, you know, flush out uh, water. You know, the Akumas, you know, know that corrosion is a big issue and they do more in terms of that porting, which I think is a wonderful thing you know, and certainly helps the reels live a longer life without having issues. Uh, in terms of internal corrosion and damage. Good pieces, you know, no knocks whatsoever on these guys. Uh, Kuma did a wonderful job. And the value, now I've mentioned you know, 189 bucks you know, for the five and the five narrow single speeds. When you go two speed, that price goes up a little bit, and I mean just a little bit. Uh, 219 is where they currently set, and frankly, these could be $300 reels uh, in the in the marketplace today, and they would be worth every penny of 300 bucks. At 219, it's a no-brainer, and I don't see these things being in good inventory. I don't think Okuma can keep them in, in you know serious enough stock, and I I would foresee a price increase on these guys coming. Yeah, you, know, you know, maybe it's six months, maybe it's you know a year or less. I think you know once Okuma gets some of these in the hands of fishermen and they get a buzz going, the price goes up. They're exceptional pieces and a wonderful value. Um, and you know, I'd like to have one. Okay, that concludes you know, a little quick presentation on the Metalloid series of reels from Okuma. Again, these pieces are you know will set the industry on its ear a little bit. You know, two speed. Metal construction, great free spool, 219 bucks, you know, for the two speeds, 189 bucks for the single speeds, you know, instantaneous anti-reverse, 
yeah, nice pieces, great values, uh, exciting pieces to see on the market. Um, expect this video probably to fade away uh, over, you know, once we get the rest of the new pieces from Okuma in here. Uh, as I said, there'll be new Andros models. Uh, the Makairas do not change. Uh, we've got the new limited editions in black. We have a few of the silver limited editions still in stock. Um, SEAs, no change in, within the Makaira line. Uh, we'll see some new spinners you know, from Okuma that look quite interesting. The Andros series we'll see in the next couple of months. And the third piece within this Metalloid series that I didn't talk about is the 12. The 12 will be a larger piece, probably more of a 50, 60 pound uh, type application as far as the braid that gets loaded on it, uh, rather than say 40, uh, which would be more typical maybe you know, on the Metalloids, you know, on the fives and the five narrows. I see those being spooled up with anywhere from 30 pound braid up to 50 pound braid you know, on the fives. You know, for the 40 pound, you know, comes in as a pretty good option that way too. It all depends on what you want to fish on the topper. With 15 pounds of drag measured at strike, or better, I guess it's better, you know, realistically you can fish 40 pound line you know, and be just fine you know, in terms of your drag capability and still be conservative in terms of its use. So thanks for watching. You know, this is a quickie. You know, drop in just on little metalloids and we'll talk to you later as we get some more gear. You know, I take off for a six day trip on Saturday. We'll be back yeah, after that, we'll probably have another video to post you know, from that chart. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.